It may be cold outside, but excitement for the NFC Championship is heating things up in Chicago. The green and gold is marching to Soldier Field to take on the Bears. It's an important game as it will, of course, determine which team will make a trip to the Super Bowl. Fans on both sides are gearing up for the matchup. And Rachel Monick joins us now live from Chicago with more. Hi, Rachel. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good. We're doing good. Are you staying warm? Yep, getting fired up for the game tomorrow, but yeah, it is cold this morning, about 9 degrees, and uh, the snow is falling, but it's so pretty. Look at the skyline, and somewhere in there, in many different places, people have brought their Packer pride to the Windy City. It was about last night, right around 5 or 6, I was heading out to eat, and I noticed a lot of people coming into town, into the hotel, carrying their... Uh, really armfuls of gear so that they'll be warm for the game tomorrow. And a lot of them, um, you know, they had their Packers stuff, so it was exciting. Yesterday morning, do you remember, we were outside with the folks from Good Day Chicago. There was a lot of Bears fans. So it was so nice to see one of our friends wearing green and gold. Standing outside the Fox Studios along Michigan Avenue, and it's a sea of blue and orange as they get ready for a Bears rally. But I found at least one brave soul all decked out in green and gold, and it's an old friend of mine, Eric Conlin from Door County. Good morning. Good morning, Rachel. <laughs> all so, right, you're brave. Oh, this is easy. When you're a fan of the Packers, you just like this all the time. Now, you work here in Chicago, but you live in Wisconsin? Yep. I live in uh, outside Milwaukee, and I take the Amtrak every day down here to, to work in Chicago amongst the Bear fans. But I lived down here for almost 18 years prior to that. But you said you weren't alone on the train looking like this. There's lots of Packer fans today. They all were wearing their green and gold, especially today, to show their colors. I love it. I love it. And I'm cold out here, but you seem to be doing okay. That's not too bad. <laughs> no long johns yet. Should be, though. I do. I have long johns on. <laughs> I have a few layers, but I'm still cold. Let's talk about the rivalry. What's it been like working in Chicago, being a Packers fan? It's been lots of fun. I tell you, it's a lot of ribbing back and forth, and it's such a good, good-natured rivalry. Unless you're sitting in Soldier Field. Then it can get a little bit hairy. But it's it's a good it's really fun. What do you think in final score? I'm thinking twenty one ten. I think it might be closer though. I think the Packers are gonna win. They're the better team, but you know, the variables of special teams and and uh, one big play or turnover could be the difference. Well, thanks, Eric, for coming down and showing your support, helping a girl welcome. out. You're uh, welcome. Standing on Michigan Avenue. <laughs> you know, most of the people have said, go pack, go to me. Oh! They're afraid. They're afraid. Whatever. They don't want to be but Packer fans. Most of these people have been high-fiving me, <laughs> saying, go pack, go. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I think a lot of them are Packer fans, but they're afraid to show They're, they're to afraid show of it. it. They're yep. afraid. Don't be afraid, Packers fans. Be proud. Be proud down here in the Windy City. Eric, thanks again. You're welcome. Anytime. Go Pack Go! <laughs> I love to run into Packers fans here in Chicago, and we're going to see a lot more of them throughout the day. Now, he talked about how fun it is to have this rivalry here, but it can get a little tense sometimes, too. And we're going to be talking with a blogger, a Packer Nation blogger who lives here in Chicago about what it's like to live in enemy territory. That's coming up next half hour. Guys, back to you. Lots of great stuff. Thanks, Indeed. Rachel. Stay warm.